Have you ever played Arena and gotten to about 9 or 10 wins in a row and then got absolutely slaughtered by the next match? It seems almost impossible to continue. Well then how is it that some players are able to maintain these high win streaks and get these top scores in order to get the best prizes in the game? Are these players really just that good? No. We're using a method called the infinite streak, and I'm going to teach you all about it in this video. There are four phases to the infinite win streak, and I'm going to go over each and every one of them. But essentially, the infinite win streak is all just about using the right champions at the right time during these matches that I have in the bottom left corner of the screen. Now, don't worry about memorizing this. I'm actually going to keep this uh, as a reference throughout the video in the bottom left corner. Uh, and I'm also going to go over some other key terms throughout this, including arena brackets, feature champion, basic champion, Kang and Thanos teams, PI or power index rating, sandbagging and why I'm not a huge fan of it myself, and death matches and how to avoid them. A death match is when you throw in the wrong team that's going to give you a very difficult matchup. You can see that I have my three weakest uh, three-star champions in here, and if I hit find match, well, it's not. I'm not going to have a good time. Uh, my, my total team rating is just above 1500, and you can see all of these team ratings uh, that I'm going to go up against are about 4000 or higher. Now, it is possible to win these matches. It's not it's not very likely, but it's it's not impossible. So if you accidentally mess up and you uh, you know throw in the, the incorrect teams, you can still try. But of course, this is something that you want to avoid at all costs. All right, a new arena just started up, and this one is for Dramamu, a champion that I am very excited about, and I'm looking to uh, try to get that champion myself. So uh, this is actually a perfect opportunity for me to show you guys how to get onto the Infinite Streak, starting with zero points zero wins completely fresh so uh, first things first let's talk about the four phases of the infinite streak and I want to be clear that this is I'm gonna be talking specifically about the four star arena in this case um, however uh, this method is very similar to uh, what you can do in other arenas I'll just have to uh, make some slight variations in future videos but I recommend practicing uh, with the four star arena first to get the foundation of how to do the infinite streak so um, there's four phases Matches 1 through 9 is the first phase. Then there are matches 10, 11, and 12, which are the more difficult parts of the infinite streak and the part that uh, seems to be most troublesome to, uh, to players. I'm going to show you three different methods on how to get through those. Then there are matches 13 through 19, which are relatively easy as long as you have four-star champions that are rank 3. Uh, if you're higher than rank 3, perfect, but all you need is rank 3 champions. I recommend having uh, at least six rank three champions um, you can technically get by with just three but it'll it'll be a little bit slower and of course the more champions that you have the better um, then there is matches 20 and beyond which goes all the way to infinite you can see here I've actually um, achieved over a 1000 streak the highest PvP win streak I've ever gotten was 1002 so uh, you can literally keep this streak going for as long as the as the arena is going for matches one through nine I recommend using three star champions only save your four star champions uh, for beyond this point of course if you are uh, very experienced in this game then uh, you can you can pretty much just use whatever you want but uh, for newer players and even myself I like to only use the three star champions for matches one through nine so I'm gonna do those matches now and I'll catch up with you once we get to the more difficult matches of 10 11 and 12 Okay, I've gotten to nine wins, and now it's time for the, the more difficult part of the infinite streak. Although the first method I'm going to show is actually very easy. It's just you have to have a, a strong roster to pull off this method. Uh, this method would be just using a rank 4, level 40, 4 star champion. So um, again, keep in mind that my, uh, my, my power index rating of the champions are a little bit higher uh, because of my masteries, but you'll see in just a moment that these are in fact uh, rank 4, level 40 champions. Uh, and I also want to uh, show you guys one other thing. If you look at the opponents, uh, the top team is Thanos team, and then we have two Kang teams down here. Now, uh, this is something that uh, you can actually control. There's a way to control what, what matchups you're getting uh, at a certain point in the infinite streak. Um, Thanos teams and Kang teams, these champions are without any masteries and therefore they're a lot easier to defeat. They don't have willpower, they're not going to be healing, they don't have limber, so they're not going to be reducing stun duration, none of that stuff. Uh, they're usually significantly easier to defeat. Um, so let me go ahead and show you right now. Let me go ahead and switch up my matchups. One other thing I want to talk about the matchups real quick. Um, I'm not a fan of using synergy teams. I'm a fan of just using the top three, te top three champions 
of uh, different class types. This way you can try to get as many class advantages uh, in the fights as you possibly can. Um, now you can see the you can see my teams here are rank 4 level 40 and then you can actually see the opponent's teams are actually rank 5 level 50 but because of the mastery difference here where I have a strong mastery setup and the opponent has none uh, my champions are actually higher rated and these are going to be relatively easy fights for me. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and knock these out right now. Don't worry if you don't have rank 4 level 40 champions um, I'm actually going to show you easier methods uh, or maybe not easier methods, but um, methods that use uh, lower rated champions uh, in the next two methods that I show you. Uh, I did just want to include this so that you have something to look forward to. Uh, if you're struggling to get through uh, the harder matchups in this game, um, then at least you'll have this to look forward to. Uh, eventually you'll get to a point where these matchups are just super easy for you to get through and the infinite streak uh, will be will be kind of a joke to get through, right? Uh, it, it'll be a, a very enjoyable, very easy experience. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up this matchup, and I'll catch up with you as soon as I'm done here. Now that that's over, I'll show you guys the easier method that uh, you don't need a high-level roster to uh, actually use to get through uh, to the easier matchups. I promise you, it will get easier once you get through these next couple of matches. Okay, the next best method, in my opinion, other than using rank 4 level 40 champions or higher, uh, would be going with 3 star champions that are rank 1 level 1. So I have 3 already loaded up here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, fire through this match right now. Uh, and you can see the difference in ratings. Uh, my ratings versus the opponents. Uh, my, my combined uh, total is 1663. Uh, and if you look at the other opponents there, it, it's roughly the same. It's roughly the same. Now... Um, you'll do, I'm going to pick the easiest matchup. I'm going to pick the, uh, the top matchup, the Deadpool up there. Uh, you can see that he has a 706 rating. Um, and this is something that you can kind of keep in mind. Uh, if he's 706 and there's a 1572 total, then the other two champions are combined roughly like 850. So they should be approximately 425 rating. Maybe I'm getting a little too mathy on you, um, but it, it should make sense. Yeah, so you can see here, um, the other two opponents, they're not too difficult. Um, so a lot of times what you can do... Um, is is pick this team, um, you know, pick pick a team like this, and try to get try to get the easier matchups. Right, you can see here that the top two matches they, they should be very easy for me to get through. Uh, the third one, I might lose that one on occasion. Right, it's not a guaranteed victory, uh, but it's there. It's something that I can get through in case there's a mistake in one of the first two matches. Um, and this is what I really like about this method versus the next method I'm going to show you, which is sandbagging. Um, and I will show you sandbagging in just a moment. Let me actually just get through this round, uh, and then, uh, yeah, I'll catch up with you as soon as I'm done here. All right, now I'm going to show you sandbagging, but before I do, I just want to be absolutely clear that this is not my preferred method of choice of getting to the infinite streak. I really do prefer the last method that I just showed you. If that method is not working for you, then uh, at least you have this to try as well. So this is called sandbagging. Uh, what sandbagging is, is you're going to take two champions that are high level, um, go with three star champions still. Um, so two of your highest, highest rated three star champions. Uh, and then go down to the bottom of your list here and just pick one of the lowest rated three star champions. I'm just going to pick uh, Superior Iron Man here. And what you want to do is uh, you basically want to win two fights and lose the third one on purpose. I'm going to fight uh, Hawkeye here and, uh, and Doctor Strange. And this should be relatively easy. Um, I want to go over some points of why I don't like this method though. Uh, occasionally you're going to lose. That's just the way it is. Um, even... Even the best players in the world, even if you were playing with complete precision in this game, um, there could be a mistake. There could be a server error where uh, you disconnect and now the game gives you an automatic loss or something like that. The sandbagging method, you will fight two matches that are, that are easier, uh, but if you're using the three three star rank one level one method uh, then at least all three fights are actually winnable. Okay so this would be a waste of time to even try to fight this so I'm just going to automatically quit the fight and take the loss. Okay so that's sandbagging. Uh, two relatively easy fights, one impossible to win fight. Again not my preferred method but um, give it a try if the other methods fail you. That's the hardest fights that there's going to be in this method, right? Matches 10, 11, and 12. Uh, at this point, as long as you have 4-star champions that are rank 3 or higher, uh, you should be good. So I'm going to show you exactly what that looks like. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to switch over to my rank 3 champions now. And let me see here. Alright, so uh, Beast is rank 3. I'll throw in uh, Joe Fixit and uh, I want to get a different class type in there. So I'm also going to go with Black Panther. Now, you'll see these matches. Not easy. 
Mistakes have been made. It turns out I was one match short. Uh, I forgot you actually have to get a 13 win streak before you can use your 3 star level 30 champions. It's okay, I just barely squeaked through and uh, actually won this matchup. Uh, I, I did that on purpose, I totally did that on purpose guys. You'll see in just a moment that uh, I'm gonna actually uh, use the same level champions, the same, uh, or, or you know, rank 3 level 30 champions. Uh, and I'm actually gonna get easier matchups this time, I promise. Watch this. <laughs> Aha, there we go. I'm at a streak of 13, and now my rank 3 level 30 champions are actually giving me easy matchups. These are, once again, the Thanos teams, or Kang teams, uh, where the opponents do not have any masteries at all. So even though they are much higher rank, uh, we are of uh, very similar ratings, and these should not be difficult fights for me. So if you've made it this far, you're not actually on the Infinite Streak just yet. Uh, this is Phase 3 out of 4. Uh, phase 4 being the actual Infinite Streak. Phase 3, this is just the easier part of the more difficult matchups, if that makes sense. Uh, matches 10, 11, 12, and 13 are the difficult matchups. Uh, and then matches uh, 14 through 19 are more difficult, but not that difficult. And you're, you're more strict than the champions that you use. I really do recommend using uh, rank 3 level 30 4 star champions or higher if you have them. And the Kang and Thanos teams, they're over. Uh, now we're actually into the uh, the normal players and I have a significant rating boost advantage over them. Um, but these players actually do have masteries. I'll show you the exact win streak that I'm on. Uh, I'm actually at win streak 15. So uh, still continue on to 19 and then uh, I will show you exactly the teams that you can use. Okay, so that was my last actual uh, fight outside of the Infinite Streak. Uh, now that I have a win streak of 19, uh, I have officially made it to the, uh, the Infinite Streak, and I'll show you guys that you can use uh, basically uh, a large number, a large combination of different champions, right? Um, you can use uh, your highest rated champions, of course. Uh, you can go down your roster here, and you can use your three-star champions. I could put in three three-star champions. Um, I have a... Uh, rank 2 4 star champion that I can throw in there as well. I can throw that into the mix. You can mix and match these champions um, as much as you want. Uh, anything that is a uh, maxed out 3 star champion or a rank 2 level 20 4 star champion or higher. Now you do want to uh, keep them relatively similar in strength. I'll start up a match in just a moment so you can see that I actually am on the infinite streak. But what you want to avoid is you want to avoid doing stuff like this uh, where you just have kind of a, a mismatch of champions. Um, if, if you have one very high level 4 star champion, a low level 4 star champion, 3 star champion, um, or even, even two high level 4 star champions and a, and a 3 star champion, you want to avoid stuff like that. Uh, it's not bad if there's a little bit of difference. So, uh, for example, you know, two very high 4 star champions and one decently high 4 star champion. Uh, or if you did something like this where... Um, you put in um, two, rel you know, two uh, level uh, 30, rank 3, uh, 4 star champions, um, and then just a, uh, you know, a, a max level um, 3 star champion. You can do stuff like that as well. Um, you, but you want to have, you know, the, the, the closer the, uh, the PI of uh, the champion is uh, in, the, in the lineup, the better. And I'll explain what PI is in just a moment. I just want to uh, actually show you guys now if I throw in three of these champions here. Uh, I'm just picking three champions at random of any class type. I'm not worried about synergies. And hit, hit find match. And you can see here that I do indeed have very easy matches where uh, I will be able to overpower this opponent um, with relative ease, with relative ease. So, um, from this point on, you're in the infinite streak. Have fun. Um, let me explain what, what PI is real quick, though. Uh, so, PI is power index rating, and that's actually the, uh, the, the power level of your champions here. So, Guillotine, you can see, has, a, has a, uh, a PI or power index rating of 23.25. Daredevil, right below her, has 23.49. And then Venompool with 23.50. Now, these might be higher than... Uh, the, the, uh, the ratings that you see for your individual champions, and they're based on a number of factors. They're based on the rank, the level, the signature ability level, and also your masteries. Now, the masteries is, is what's going to be uh, the, the biggest difference between um, you know, some of these, these the champions that I have and, and maybe what you're working with. Um, 
I have a very powerful mastery setup here. Uh, I, I, it's not necessary to go with my exact mastery setup. I'm going to point out some very powerful masteries for you right now uh, to help you along uh, with winning some of these more difficult fights because some of the fights in the Infinite Streak they are difficult. Um, once uh, you know, once you actually make it through to the Infinite Streak, then you're golden. But uh, un until then, some of those uh, fights, especially 10, 11, 12, 13. Um, they can get relatively difficult. So, uh, masteries that I recommend, I actually recommend ma maxing out Limber here. Limber is a, uh, a tremendous help. Um, I, I recommend getting at least one point into parry. Three is, is good, but uh, one point is all that's really necessary. Uh, one point into dexterity. And either two or three points into stupefy here. This will really help your, uh, your stun durations. Uh, especially when you uh, land a parry stun, which doesn't have the, uh, the, the longest duration, uh, especially, especially against opponents that do have maxed out limber, uh, since if you do max it out, uh, at, at level 5, you have 48% reduced um, stun duration, so your parry stuns are not going to last very long. Uh, when it comes to defense, you don't need everything that I have laid out here. Uh, if you just max out block proficiency, that's already a, a great step in the right direction uh, when it comes to uh, helping your, uh, your defenses. Uh, and the offensive tree, um, you don't need everything that I have on the right side here. Um, if you just get uh, the prerequisites leading up to precision and maxing out precision, and same thing for cruelty, uh, you'll notice a significant rating boost for your champions, uh, as well as just um, you know a, a much much higher damage output of your champions, which will lead to uh, more fights won and. Um, the fights will be much quicker actually too. Let's define featured and basic champion. If we go into the rewards and go over to the ranked rewards, uh, the featured champion may seem obvious. It's, it's, it's the champion that you get uh, if you score the top ranks. In this case, it's going to be rank 1 through 400 that are going to get the featured champion. Uh, the basic champion is what you get for scoring the top 5% in that arena, uh, excluding the first 400 players. Uh, and this is the basic champion right here. Loki, you can see he has a blue tint to him. This is not what he normally looks like. Uh, the basic champions always have this uh, this blue tint to them. Uh, and the difference between a basic champion and a regular version of that champion uh, is you're only going to get plus one to their signature ability. Um, if you do not have the champion at all, if you do not have Loki and you score the top 5%, Kabam will give you Loki. You will get Loki as a, as a regular champion. There's nothing unusual about it. If you already have Loki, however, you're only going to gain one signature ability. Now, this might still be very a very good way to uh, increase your champion's power. If, if the champion is not already awakened, meaning you have never duplicated that champion previously, you will awaken the champion, uh, but you'll only have a, uh, a one signature ability level instead of a 20 in the case of a 4-star, or in the case of a 3-star, uh, you know, you gain plus 8 whenever you duplicate a 3-star. Now, you can see here, Iron Man, he is... Um, He's not. A, he doesn't have that blue tint to him. This is a regular three-star Iron Man, so you will gain the plus eight signature abilities uh, levels for gaining that Iron Man. Feature champion is something that we cannot predict. It's uh, announced by Kabam uh, the same week of that arena. However, the basic champion is something that we can predict. We knew that Loki was coming in this arena a very long time ago uh, because actually, as soon as as soon as a certain champion is released as the feature champion, we can predict exactly how long it will take for that champion to become the basic version of it. If you do not see the basic champion in your arena, Arena, if you're looking at the ranked rewards in your particular arena, that's because you're not in the veterans bracket. So if we actually uh, flip over to a post on the Kabam forums, this actually explains the three different brackets uh, that are in the, the arena system currently. So there's the beginner bracket, intermediate bracket, and veterans bracket. Now I'm going to highlight the veterans bracket right now, and this is the only one that has this top 1-5% to 4 star basic hero, 3 star featured hero. Uh, prize. The reason that they divided these brackets up is just so that newer players to the game have a chance at getting some of the, the better rewards in that arena. If you're still having a hard time with these matchups, I do have uh, two other tips. The first is that uh, you'll want to use champions that have a, uh, a power drain ability. So this is champions like, uh, if, I, if I go in here, uh, Vision has a, uh, a strong power drain ability. Uh, Hawkeye is another example. Um, there, there are a number of champions that have these, these power drain abilities that can uh, you know, help you to uh, avoid getting hit by a level 3. If you accidentally push the opponent into le uh, level 3 special territory, you can use uh, champions like this to uh, drain their power a bit and just give you a little bit more control in the fight itself. 
um, while you try to bait out their, their lower level specials that you can try to avoid. Uh, the final tip that I have for you is uh, if, if you're having trouble getting th through to the infinite streak, um, it might just be that um, you don't, you haven't, uh, you know, learned enough about this game to uh, make those fights uh, a little bit easier, a little bit more in your advantage. Uh, and there are a number of videos out there that can actually help you. Um, I'll be making some, uh, some how to fight videos myself. But until that comes, uh, I would like to uh, point you guys in the direction of Dork Lessons. Um, Dork Lessons on YouTube, I will put a link down in the description. Uh, I'll, he has an entire series on how to fight like a ninja, and uh, it's some of the best guides out there. So uh, go ahead and check that out if you're still having a, if you're still having a tough time. Uh, and that is going to do it for the Infinite Streak. If you guys have any questions, please go ahead and leave a comment below, uh, or just... Um, catch me on one of my daily live streams you can ask questions there i'll try to answer as many as i possibly can hit the like and subscribe buttons and i'll see you in the next video take care